David, it's been uh, more or less six months since you came to Copenhagen. How has it been so far? Uh, yeah, it's, the time flies like really fast, but I think we did a good job these six months. The only thing that I would change is, of course, the place that we are in in Superliga. But we still have six months more to change it and be first in the end of the season. But I would say it would be it was quite amazing these six months. How has it been for you personally? <laughs> I always say that uh, I don't like to rank myself or uh, my personal achievements, but uh, as long as, it's, uh, as the team is in, on the second spot and we still have a really good chance to be champions, we are through to Conference League on, from the first place. I think personally I did good because we didn't concede much goals and uh, we have good team spirit and I try to help uh, all my teammates with it, so I would rank rated really good. What has been the best thing about coming to Copenhagen? Uh, <laughs> everyone knows that uh, Copenhagen had uh, we had m mutual interest in uh, each other and I knew that the fans right here on Parken are really really amazing but what I've seen from since day one and especially on Derby Day it's really a turning point for me and I was quite sure from the start of negotiation because uh, I really wanted to be here, I really wanted to perform for the club, for the badge and uh, right now after six months since I joined the club I think uh, I made the obvious choice and the right choice so I, can, I cannot say one thing, I can say everything is fine and everything is perfect here. It's a good uh, championship Superliga of, of course, it's, I think it's obvious, of course, it's my opinion that we are the best team in the Superliga, but we need to perform every weekend and we need to prove that we are the best team in the league. So, so far, no surprises, tough championship, tough teams, good games, but uh, we need to be number, number one in the end of May. And how has it been coming to a new country, a new club, um, settling in and a new, new, new squad? Well, first of all, I must say thank you to all of people in the club, including you, including my teammates, uh, bosses, coaches, because uh, since day one I felt like uh, you needed me and I needed you, so I didn't have uh, had time to adapt. So since day one I was in family, called Efsico and uh, I felt really great and I'm thankful for you for this. And obviously you came with a lot of experience. Um, how has it been finding your place in the hierarchy and in the team um, coming in as more or less uh, as, a, as a new leader in, in, in the defense? <laughs> like I really don't like to brag but yeah I played a lot of good games and first of all I tried to help uh, young teammates and uh, also for the older ones uh, we try to conversate to have some talks because uh, in the end uh, one player cannot change anything it's about team and it's about 11 players who are on the field and if we speak to each other and we have each other's experience then it's much more easier for us so it, it was easy for me to share my experience and also I'm really happy that uh, the guys in the team they also share their experience so we are starting to build something big really I, I, I think so. And I know you as a like a open-minded uh, communicating kind of guy um, extrovert I guess you, you, you could say <laughs> um, how has uh, that personality helped you? It's really help, helping because uh, coming to, you said, uh, to different country, uh, different culture, uh, it can be difficult if you are stuck in yourself and you don't share your emotions or your feeling or you don't try to understand how the people live here. When you come to a new country, new culture, it's really difficult to adapt if you are an uh, introvert, so if you don't share something. My position on the field center back is a man that needs to speak a lot. So basically we are the last ones uh, to our goal, we see much more and if we try to help our teammates and speak to them the whole game, they, for them the work is much easier. So basically it's about my, my profession, my position and also I'm the type of person who likes to speak a lot and uh, to try to have some information.
you should choose one one specific highlight of the season so far for you personally, what what would you say? We had a lot of great moments these six months, but definitely I would take a goal against Bromby in Derby. It was quite amazing because uh, since I came to Copenhagen, everyone told me that Derby is a big thing. And I also watched a couple of videos on YouTube and a couple of games and everything. But I couldn't imagine that it's that far, this rivalry. So scoring on for first derby was really amazing for me. It's, it was the greatest feeling so far, I think, for this six months. And obviously scoring against Brøndby, you are almost already a legend among the fans. <laughs> I, I hope I will score two more in this season, so then, then I can tell that I'm something near the legend. And generally, how has it been playing in, in Parken in front of all our fans? As I said, I think it's the biggest point. We have a, a title on Parken, Denmark's best uh, 12th player. I don't understand Danish, but this, this I understand. So I really agree with it because I played with every team in Denmark now and I can say that I saw every fans and our fans are just amazing. So I, I really enjoy to play here. How would you describe the connection between you and the fans? How, have they, how has the reception of you been, do you think? No, I really hope that they like me because I love them. And uh, to me, most important uh, thing about connection with me with the fans was uh, when I heard a song on the warm up uh, singing about me. So, and at that moment, I realized like they really see that I, I want to perform for them, I want to give my everything to them every game.